Welcome to the next lecture of our Understanding Penetration Testing video series. And in this video, we're going to talk about Kali Linux setup. So as I told you in our last video, Kali Linux is the Linux flavor of choice for performing penetration testing because there are so many different Linux operating system available and you could do probably whatever that you can do in the Kali Linux operating system in those operating system as well. I mean, if you are a fan of Ubuntu or Fedora or even Mint OS, you can do exactly the same operation that we are going to do in the Kali Linux as well. But the only thing is Kali Linux is the penetration testing focused operating system. So you could do almost anything that you can think of to perform in penetration testing. And it also comes quite bundled with so many different options and features which you can easily get around with Kali Linux operating system which you can't with other operating system. So in this particular video, we're gonna see how we can install Kali Linux in both Windows as well as in the Mac operating system. So in order to do that, first you need to download the Kali Linux image or the ISO image from Kali Linux page and then we're going to be installing that using virtual machine or you can also do dual booting if you wanted to but in this particular video we can just focus on installing Kali Linux in the virtual machines like VMware and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the Mac operating system as well. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to go and search for Kali Linux and then you will see that this is the Kali Linux page the Kali.org and you can see that this is the page where you can see that I have so many information about Kali Linux itself. And you can see that there are many different flavors of Kali Linux that you can use. You can also install Kali Linux in the mobile operating systems like Android, which we'll be talking probably later in this particular course. But for now, you can see that these are the flavors that you can actually install Kali Linux itself, like ARM, bare metal, cloud, containers, mobile, USB, virtual machines, and WSL. So we're going to do the ISO download. I'm not going to go with the virtual machine download as you can see over here. So I can go and hit this download there and then you can go and select the installer images as you can see. And once you select that, you can choose the installer image that you wanted to. You can either choose 64 bit operating systems image as you can see over here or if you're going to be like me who is going to use the apple silicon based machine which is an arm based machine you can also do that so i'm going to download this particular version for my mac operating system installation but for windows installation in the vmware i'm going to just use this particular installer the one which is recommended so i'm going to download this from the torrent and it's already been done so i'm just going to start installing it right now so i'm just going to go to the vmware of my machine so i'm going to go and open the vmware workstation 17 player and it's totally free as well so if you have not really installed before you can go ahead and download it for non-commercial use you can use vmware 17 player for free and i have installed that and i'm going to use that over here you can see that i already have kali linux within my machine i'm not going to really use this particular piece because i just wanted to show you how we can install it from the ground up so for doing it just go and select this player file new virtual machine and then you can choose the operating system of your choice. The one which you're going to choose is the Kali Linux, which I have downloaded. And you can see that this particular operating system is not detected. So I'm just going to say Linux. And this is basically going to be a Ubuntu based operating system. So I'm going to choose Ubuntu over here because you can see that it won't show you the operating system over here. So I'm just going to say Ubuntu and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to say Kali Linux demo and I'm going to choose different uh, location for my virtual machines, not in my cloud really. Uh, and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to set the size as 20 or 80, whatever that you wanted to. I usually go with 80 so you can choose whatever storage that you have got and store everything in a single file because that makes your life much much easier because if you're going to be using multiple file then the performance will be reduced based on the size of your disk really so i'm going to hit next i'm going to customize the hardware and i'm going to choose the number of processor cores to 4 and the ram as probably 16 because i got 32 gig in my machine so 16 is not a problem really so i'm just going to close this and hit finish and I'm going to start installing it over here. So all I have to do is just hit this play virtual machine and you will see that the installation is going to just start up. So this is how you can do the installation in Windows operating system with the VMware. And you will notice that there is going to be a small installer going to come up. So I'm going to choose the graphical installation over here. 
and you can see that it's going to present me a Kali Linux over here. So I'm just going to select the English and I'm going to choose whichever country that you wanted to. I'm going to choose American English, doesn't matter. And I'm going to let the other option to keep going. And I'm going to call the host name as Kali Linux and hit continue. Hit continue again because I don't really want to give any domain name. And I'm going to give the name of the new user as Karthik. Hit continue. And I'm going to use my secret password to be entered. And I'm going to say Pacific. Hit continue. And I'm going to just use the entire disk because I don't really need to do partition or something like that. So I'm just going to choose the same disk. And I'm going to hit continue for that as well. And everything looks fine. I'm going to say yes and hit continue because as we are doing in the virtual machine and we have only one disk really so it doesn't matter really that we have to do a partition but if you really wanted to do any partition based on your requirement then please go ahead and do that but for me the requirement is quite straightforward I'm just going to use in one disk really so I have not really did any partition there and you can see that now the installation has really started that is the only thing that we got to be doing in the wizard side to do all the setup instruction but once that is all given you will see that the installation is just going to kick in and now it's going to present me that whatever thing that we got to be installing within this particular operating system so i'm just going to choose everything because i need everything for this particular installation so i'm going to hit continue for that as well and you will notice that it is going to install around 2486 softwares within this particular operating system by default which is going to make my life easier because I don't really have to install any meta packages because that's going to bring me almost all the required meta packages along with this particular Kali Linux. And again, I have not talked about the meta packages yet. Once we get into Kali Linux, I will quickly show you what meta package is all about. And now we can see that the installation is fully done. So I'm going to hit continue. And now this is going to reboot our virtual machine. So this is the way that we can do the complete installation. So once this reboot is done, you can see that it is going to ask me two options to choose the Kali Linux or the advanced option. So I'm going to choose the Kali Linux as the first option. And now you can see that the Kali Linux is fully installed for us. So now I'm going to use my username as Karthik and I'm going to enter my super secret password. And this way you can see that the Kali Linux installation is fully done. So now I'm just going to open my virtual machine in the full desktop view mode. So this way I can now work within Kali Linux pretty much like how I do within my host machine. And now if you go to Kali Linux over here, you can see all the different options are going to come up pretty much like the information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, database assessments, password attack and things of that nature. This is exactly the same thing which I was showing you in our earlier lecture where we were talking about the introduction of penetration testing and understanding them. So that's exactly the same thing that we are going to get over here. So all these packages are going to come up for us over here once the installation is fully done. And now we'll see how we can do the same installation in the Mac operating system. And now we're going to see how we can install Kali Linux in our Mac operating system. So in order to do the installation of Kali Linux in Mac operating system, you can either use VirtualBox if you wanted to, or you can also use Parallels Desktop like how I'm going to be using. And again, because this is an Apple M1 chip, it is always recommended or even much much easier to use parallels desktop and I know this is a paid version software it is not free to really use but using parallel desktop you will see that it is going to be really really amazing because you can not only just run the Linux flavor of operating system but you can also run Windows 11 like how I'm doing over here so that is the real power of having the parallels desktop and you can see that I already have so many different flavors of operating system like I have two Kali Linux on Ubuntu operating system with different versions and I also have Fedora and Windows 11 over here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with Parallels desktop while working and installing Kali Linux as opposed to Windows operating system which I showed you using VMware so all you gotta do is just go and click this plus button over here and you will be shown with different operating system which are available and the one which we are going to be working with is the Kali Linux so you can go ahead and choose that and once you hit continue you will notice that it is automatically going to show you that this is the operating system which is the latest version which it is going to download and install it for you i mean everything is going to be happening automatically for you all you got to do is just hit that download button and you will notice that it is going to download the kali linux for you 
at a light speed i mean it all depends on how fast your internet is you'll be presented with few options to be entered as an input and you'll be seeing that the whole operating system is going to magically spawn in and now you can see that the installation is already done so all we have to do it is we just have to enter our password and then we are pretty much done with our installation part so i'm just going to enter my password here and i'm going to enter my password once again and that's it you'll notice that the installation is already done over here and we are already within our kali linux operating system so there is not even a single option that we are presented because all the installations are going to be taken care by the parallels desktop itself which is amazing and now you'll notice that parallel desktop is going to install some of the tools which is required for the parallel desktop to interact effectively with this operating system let that installation to happen but once this is done there is going to be a reboot going to happen and once this restart is fully done we can then perform all the operations that we can do within this particular operating system so you can see that this operating system is very very faster compared to my windows operating system even though i have 32 gigs of ram and the latest processors this operating system is much much faster really and now let me make this like a full screen and you can see that this is faster as well and you can see that all the different tools that we require for penetration testing really appears so once the installation is done in kali linux the first thing that we need to do it is we need to do the sudo apt update and then sudo apt install because those things are going to make your operating system up to date so i'm going to go as a root user in the terminal and then i'm going to enter my root password and this is the terminal that we are going to be mostly working with this entire series so all we're going to do it is let's go to the preference and change the font size from 10 to probably 20 uh, and i'm going to hit apply and okay and now i'm just going to use sudo but because this is a root user already you don't really have to use sudo all you have to do is just apt update and that is going to download all the necessary packages that is required for me to be updated for this particular operating system and then i'm going to do app upgrade oops apt upgrade and that is going to do any upgrade which is required for me to be done and you can see that there are so many different packages which needs to be upgraded so i'm going to say y and hit enter And you can see that sometimes we get this kind of error it's because of the internet connectivity and it completely depends on if your internet speed is not quite right so you need got to be doing that again because you can see that currently the installation stopped for me in the eight percent days so i'm just restarting it but once this whole process is fully done you will notice that you are pretty much good to go with the latest package while this is happening for us over here while this is happening over here i'm going to quickly show you how the kali linux is going to really look like so you can see that you can change the operating system settings from this particular setting option over here which is going to show you the setting manager appearance bluetooth adapters bluetooth managers clipboards and stuff so these are pretty much like the operating system level settings that you gotta be doing but if you want to go and work with any of the applications then you can go to the specific category for example if you're going to be doing the reconnaissance or the information gathering we got to be going to this information gathering over here and you will see that there are different tools available specifically for reconnaissance or information gathering so we're going to go and select this dns enum and it will be showing you the meta package or the package of this particular dns enum with all the information like helpful information is going to be presented for you and the good thing about the kali linux is that you can actually see all these from the kali linux meta packages itself so you can go to the kali tools option over here as you can see uh, and which is the one which is bookmarked over here and these are the different packages which are actually available within the kali linux over here so you can see that we have nmap derby hashcat and then there are so many different tools which are available they also have got the tools for wireshark and powershell dirtbuster and everything like that so all these tools are available for you and if you want to see the dns enum which i was just showing so you can just put like dns enum you can see that this package is going to be coming up for you over here and it is going to show you all the information related to the dns enum for you over here itself so this is another way for you to really 
use the Kali Linux from this particular web page itself. Again, it is pretty much like you can think of it as like a Maven package or a NuGet package. If you're working with C Sharp or Java, you can see there are different package repositories available. Pretty much exactly the same idea for us for here with the Kali Linux as well, because they are going to maintain all the different softwares or tools required for us to perform better penetration testing. And all these informations are available over here and you can use those information while you try to perform those operation over here. And you can see that my installation is keep failing over here. So I'm going to do the upgrade once again. I think we are in 79 percentage, but yeah, it is going to keep continuing depends on the speed of the internet or maybe it depends on the connectivity as well or with the Kali Linux. So it looks like it's a bit sporadic at the moment, but yeah, that's the first part that we gotta be doing once the whole Kali Linux installation is done. So that is the whole idea of how you can install Kali Linux in both Windows operating system as well as in Mac operating system using virtual machine and parallels desktop. So this is going to make your life much, much easier for you to get into penetration testing. That's it guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching this particular video. Catch you in the next one.